Please join me in welcoming to our stage uh, our student teacher from this year, Mr. Zach Cummings.
that you see on stage is our symphonic band. They're made up primarily of sophomores. Uh, at this time, at Brown Lee, we will be recognizing a few students and the family groups themselves. Um, I'd first like to start off by recognizing this ensemble as a whole. This group went to perform and be adjudicated at the Eastern District Music Performance Adjudication in March, and they received a rating of Superior, which is the highest that they can receive. Let's give them a round of applause for that. Uh, the Winnox song you'll see later also received the Superior, so let's give them a round of applause. adjudication that took place this past weekend. They each prepared either a solo or a group piece of music to perform and also be adjudicated on. As I call their name, I just ask that they'll stand as I give their rating, and if you'll please hold your applause to the very end. For uh, Mercedes Allen, Nora Nelson, and Emily Zinicola, for their group performance, they received a superior. For Krista Nice, for his solo and group performance, he received an excellent. For Joy Freeman and Diamond Thomas, for their group performance, they received a superior. For Kim Masters, on her solo performance, she received a superior. For Ty Madsen, on his solo performance, he also received a superior. And for Derek Wilson, on his solo performance, he received a superior as well. Let's give those students a round of applause. In January, we had about uh, 16 students participate in the Onslow All County Band, and those those students were nominated by Mr. Ditch and myself. They were chosen on their uh, musicianship and character. And at this time, if I could have some help from Mr. Ditch, I'd like to present these following students with their certificates. Derek Wilson, Ty Matson, Chase Valerie, Kim Masters. Jordan Smith. Let's give them a round of applause. Also in January, we took about a group of 22 students who auditioned for the Eastern District uh, Band. And we had three members from um, the Wadden High School Band make that group. One of them is in this ensemble, and we'll represent the other two later in the Wynn Ensemble. Um, the student from this ensemble that made the Eastern All District Band was Justin Davis, and he placed fourth chair snare. So he'll come and get his certificate. For each of our ensembles, we give a most approved award, and as you can hear from the students on stage, they have all grown, and at White Oak High School, we're all about growth and learning. And this student, uh, to me, kind of stood out and uh, blossomed this year. And that student is Miss Jordan Smith. Mr. Cummings, if you would come back out on the stage. As you can tell by his great Sanford, North Carolina smile, uh, Mr. Cummings has done some outstanding work with us. He played in our hit musical. He's worked very well with the students, particularly with this group. And uh, Mr. Cummings, we want to thank you for everything that you did this semester and wish you the best of luck and we'd like to present you with a picture of all the ensembles and the students, including advisory, uh, sign that and we wish you the best of luck. Zach Cummings. Our last piece that we're going to perform with the symphonic band is Georgia On My Mind and it's going to feature alto saxophonist Derek Wilson.
that was a pretty challenging work for this group. They played it at festival, and what you heard was the second half, part two. They played the, the first part, which is about nine minutes long, along with that uh, part that you just heard at, at festival this year. And it's what's called a master work on our new state list, which means that it is a university level piece. It's a piece that is normally played at the collegiate level, and not really a whole lot at the high school level. And I think they deserve another round of applause.
time we're going to recognize a few students from this ensemble. Uh, first start with the solo ensemble MPA participants. Again, I'll ask them to stand when their name is called. And if we could hold all, all of our applause until the very end. Uh, for, their, for her solo performance, Rose Dennison received an excellent. For their group performance, Laura Edgel, Shana Holmes, Carly Legg, Alon Naki, and Caroline Shannon received an excellent. For her solo, Carly Legg also received a superior. For Nestor's group performance, Nestor Morello, he received an excellent. Alon Naki, for her solo horn, uh, she received a superior. And for Trey Riley, for his solo, he received, he received an excellent. Give, let's give these students a round of applause. We're next going to recognize those students who participated in the Onslow All-County Band this year. As those students will um, get their certificate from Mr. Ditch. We first going to start with Matthew Magar, Reed Trumbull, Nick Doherty, Matthew Seaman, Neil Kelly, Megan Kellum, Joanne Hopkins, Shelby Barks, and Michael Barker. Let's give those students a round of applause. We also had two students from this ensemble meet, uh, uh, excuse me, place an audition for the uh, Eastern District All District Band. And in front of those students come up, we had Laura Edgel. Can you give her a round of applause? And Matthew Seaman. I'm going to have Matt stay up here for just a second. Um, when Matt auditioned for the Eastern Island District Band, uh, because he uh, plays second chair tuba, he actually got um, the eligibility to audition for All State Honors Band. And uh, that is where students from across all the districts, they, again, those people who top, who place in the top of their chairs, they come and audition for the North Carolina All-State Honors Band. Matt went and auditioned in March, and he also made that ensemble and played six chair tuba. And uh, about two weeks ago, we got to participate in the North Carolina All-State Honors Band Clinic, and I know he had a great time uh, with that performance. Let's give him a round of applause. Award in uh, the Wind Ensemble. Uh, this person uh, took on uh, new challenges and has really, really, really grown. And I know her parents, uh, probably at first when uh, they were told what she was doing, they kind of was, what? But she took it on, and uh, I'm just super proud of our most improved Wind Ensemble person this year, Miss Olivia Arnold. When I first came, got here, when I first got here, <laughs> when I first came to White Oak High School, uh, the class of 1993, there were eight seniors that year. And, you know, being a new person here, new program, and it was their last year, they kind of had a choice to make. They could kind of go with my game plan, or they could kind of buck my game plan. And right from the get-go, they chose to go with my game plan. So I told them that at every spring concert, I would honor them by giving a senior award. The senior award doesn't necessarily go to the best musicians, but it goes to uh, people in the band that I, I feel carry on that Viking family spirit, that uh, understand um, the importance of music in their lives, and, uh, and I think they'll take this with them. This year was particularly difficult. There are several very good candidates, I think, but I had to narrow it down to three. Those three candidates, or winners, are... Shelby Marks.
Trey Riley. And Nestor Marilla. Throughout the nation, there is an award that is given to the most outstanding musician. It's called the John Philip Sousa Award. Like I said, this is an outstanding musician. And this year, I think it was uh, quite evident by some of the accolades this gentleman received. The John Philip Sousa Award, outstanding musician, when else someone goes to Matthew Houston. At this time, I would uh, like to call our senior and junior drum majors over, please. This is a tradition that we started several years ago where we pass our ceremonial mace from one drum major to the next, signifying a kind of a change of command. Um, Caroline has been an outstanding senior drum major this year, and uh, I'm going to hand off to you. Okay, at this time we would like to uh, move on to um, our final senior uh, recognition. Uh, we first would like to recognize those seniors who have taken band on all four years. Hi. Before we do that real quick, we want to do another tradition that the seniors always uphold at White Oak High School, and that is our senior gifts. To Mr. Ditch. So, first off, Alright, um, the senior class this year decided to, um, well, every year at our competitions, Mr. Ditch likes to crack the joke, how do you fix a broken tuba with a tuba glue? So, we decided to get Mr. Ditch some tuba glue to fix all his broken tubas. <laughs> Um, when Mr. 
Ford got here, we found out that, like many of the music teachers here, he graduated from ECU, which is very nice. We're very proud of him for that. But he didn't go to White Oak. He graduated from Jacksonville. So, to make him feel like more like part of our family, we got him a diploma. To Mr. Morton.
The tradition I would most like to see the underhouse men uphold is the silence upon arrival. These few minutes of silence are meant to allow each person to mentally prepare for whatever experience that they will face during that day, as well as express the discipline that we should have attained during our time in this program. This is an invaluable tradition with great merit, allowing us to focus in silence. Hello, my name is Emily Brewer and I play trumpet in marching band and in Wendell's of what I play euphonium and symphonic band. My most memorable moment is freshman year when all the military members stood up in the stands when their hymn was played. Their emotions filled the stands as well as the field. My most non-musical skill is a, that I've learned is discipline, definitely discipline. The one tradition I would like the underclassmen to uphold is silence upon arrival. The silence allows us to get focused and prepare us for our performance. Hello, my name is Keith Clark. I play plays bass and trumpet. Give us this day would have to be the most memorable musical experience for me and band. This piece challenged my ability to play and really requires a musician to give 110%. There are times during rehearsal where the music came together so well that I actually got goosebumps. That's not an easy feat to achieve and I will definitely remember it. The value of hard work is a lesson that I've learned from my experiences in band and marching band. Whether the goal is to play a piece of music for festival or just uh, move along, putting your, all your effort into the task at hand and, and having attention to detail is what makes a person good at what they do and a trait that potential employers are looking for. I would like to see the underclassmen uphold the tradition of silence upon arrival. I was able to be another, a part of another marching band and we didn't have this tradition. It was not until this that I realized how effective this tradition was in preparing to properly execute and perform a show with a superior rating. This tradition allows you to concentrate and refocus your attention on the show and think about areas in which you struggle. Hello, my name is Nicholas Doherty and I play trombone in marching band, wind ensemble, and jazz band. My most memorable moment in band, it might sound a little cliche, but it was probably the first game my freshman year. I mean, I was so nervous during the show, but I felt so good afterwards, and just getting to see everyone's faces and everything was great. Um, a non-musical skill that affects me that I've learned through band is probably listening. Not only to notes and rhythms and musical things like that, but to people in general. And I think this might be a pretty important skill in life. A tradition that I want to be kept upheld is superior rating at festival. If Whiteout always does the best that they can do, then they will always get superior no matter what. Hello, my name is Laura Edgel and I play the flute. My most memorable musical moment while being in band was, my, was last year's Havelock competition. The week of the competition was the same week we lost a part of our band family. The band worked harder than ever to make that show the best in memory of Nick Brower. A non-musical skill I've learned that I can use the rest of my life is dedication. We all work hard to reach a goal and quitting just isn't an option. A tradition I would like for the underclassmen to uphold has to be the moment of silence. It gives the band time to mentally prepare for the upcoming performance. Hello, my name is Taylor Fowler and I play the flute in marching band and wind ensemble. My most memorable musical moment has been all the funny jokes that have been made in band class, from Mr. Morton's stand jokes to Mr. Ditch's speech about the journey into knowledge during the rehearsal, and Miss Lee's telling John to put his big boy pants on. All have made us laugh and smile. These jokes were to light in the mood before performance and bond us together. So stand by the seniors in this musical moment. Not a musical skill I have learned was to be straightforward. In marching band, there is not enough time to beat around the bush. You have to be very blunt and give your criticisms and advice quickly. The tradition I want to see carried on is, is silence upon arrival. I think it is a great way to get focused before entering a rival school or going into your performance. Hello, my name is John Green, and I play the tennis sax for marching band in the wind ensemble and the baritone saxophone for jazz band. My most memorable musical moment while being in band would have to be when we were at the Clinton Band Competition my sophomore year, and we were in uniform waiting on others to get dressed. Mr. Ditch told us all to look at the sunset and reflect about it. A non-musical skill I have learned would have to be being able to work with others no matter how much they frustrate you or how much you have to work harder in order to help them work harder. A tradition that I would like for the underclassmen to uphold would be adopt a family because I believe that it's important to give back to the community and give to those that need it the most. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Harris and I play the very sax. My most memorable musical moment was playing part three of Fast Track in honor of Nick Barber. A non-musical skill I learned was discipline and time management. A tradition I would like the underclassmen to up uphold is line up in silence. Hello, my name is William Heisman and I'm in the percussion section. My most memorable moment was this 
Volunteer Marching Band when the drumline reenacted the flag raising at Iwo Jima. It was awesome. The non-musical skill that I will use for the rest of my life is persistence. Just because you can't do something the first time doesn't mean you won't ever be able to do it. The tradition I would like to see upheld is superiorating a festival. Hello, my name is Shana Holmes and I play the flute in Marching Band and Wings. The most memorable musical moment is last year during Marching Band when we performed our show Fast Track. It was the last time we performed for an audience and honestly it was the best we ever played. A non-musical skill that I would use in my life is working well with others. It takes a lot of patience working with different personalities, especially in Marching Band. A tradition that I would like to see the underclassmen uphold is all of them. Each tradition is what makes us different than other schools. Hi, my name is Diamond Jackson and I play percussion and during the marching season I play snare. One of my most memorable music, musical moments while being in band will have to be going to DC. It was a very short trip but very heart touching. Even though the purpose of going was to give us the train experience, I got a lot more. One of the greatest feelings is standing in the Lincoln Memorial at night where Dr. King stood and thinking, one day I'm going to make a difference. A non-musical skill that I've learned in band that I can use the rest of my life will have to be to work as a team. As a section, we don't always agree on the music or drill, but by the end of the day, it is nothing but laughs, literally. As a female, being the section leader in a group of majority guys isn't that easy, but we're family. We take care of each other inside and outside the band room. I love my battery. A tradition that I'd like to for the underclassmen to uphold will be, to, will be the moment of silence because it is very sentimental. It is that moment where all of us are serious, focused, and ready. Nothing can replace the feeling when everyone is in the, in the tight circle, linked arms, closed eyes, and praying for a great performance that we simultaneously remind each other of what we go to. It's tradition. My name is Josh Warden, and I play trumpet and six string bass. My most musical moment in band was one of the darkest times in marching Vikings history. The band became a true family after we lost an amazing member of our family. We pulled through it together and the only competition I feel every single person poured everything they had into the performance is the competition we dedicated to make. A non-musical skill I have learned and will use as a life lesson is integrity. In marching band, every single person has to carry their own weight on the field even when a judge is not around them. Every single note and step affects the overall band performance. The tradition I would like the underclassmen to uphold is line up in silence. This tradition does not only show discipline, respect, and time to focus, it also shows every other man in competition with us that White Oak Marching Vikings is a force to be heard. Hello, my name is Nelson Luello. I play the trumpet in Manantawa and Jasmine. In band, I learned that you must be confident in everything you do. This can help me be more confident when stating my solution to my to many problems or if I introduce a new idea into the world. My most memorable musical moment would have to be my sophomore year during the second half of marching range camp, when we would go to the commercial arts building to play through reflections of the blue frontier. Every time we played through it, I would just get a new feeling when I hear everybody play it together. The tradition I would like the underclassmen to uphold is the science online. Having time to relax, focus, and getting well prepared is very important for giving an awesome performance. Hello, my name is Alon Nahi, and I played clarinet in my first three years in White Oak High School band. And uh, this year I switched to mellophone in the marching band, and I play French horn in the wind ensemble. My most memorable music moment while being in band had to be my junior year at our last competition, Havoc. It had only been a week since we lost fellow marching Viking Nick Brower. That week everyone was so focused, and we had our eyes on the prize. After we performed, I felt amazing, like we left our hearts on the field, and I feel like we've never performed any better than that night. We did amazing, and I know we made Nick proud. That performance was for him. An odd musical skill I've learned that I can use the rest of my life would be believing in myself that I can do anything I put my mind to with hard work and dedication. I learned to play the French horn this year, one of the hardest instruments to learn. People told me I couldn't, that I wouldn't succeed. What do I say to them? Look at me now. A tradition I would like for the underclassmen would be silence upon arrival. This allows us to focus and get right for either a competition or game. These few moments of silence are important and help us be successful. Hi, I'm Trey Riley, and I play percussion in my cell phone. Our most memorable moment was marching down Western Boulevard, playing cadence on the tin drums. It's the best experience I've ever had. I learned how to maintain discipline and to, put, and to know that you must put your heart into everything that you do. Don't think of it as a job, but a starting point for a bright future. 
a tradition that I would like for our underclassmen to hold this moment of encouragement, to help others be relaxed, and to let others know that this is your band, your show. Encouraging others is a starting point for a better performance. Hello, my name is Caroline Channing, and I'm the senior drum major for the White Oak High School Marching Vikings, and I play clarinet and wind ensemble. My most memorable musical moment while in band was during marching band at the Gary competition. Performing that day made me realize that playing with this amazing group is an honor. A non-musical skill I have learned in band that I can use the rest of my life is teamwork. We work together as a team to create an awesome final product. The tradition that I would like for the underclass to uphold is silence upon arrival. It gets us focused for the performance so we can perform to the best of our ability. Hello, my name is Matt Seaman and I play two in the one ensemble. Sousaphone in the marching band, bass trombone in the jazz band, and baritone in the symphonic band. My most memorable musical moment while being in band was our last marching band competition. Knowing that this performance would be the last for this year's senior marching Vikings made me think of all that we have been through <clears throat> and how we have stuck together throughout the years. A non-musical skill that I have learned in band is patience. To get the results you want, you have to put in the time. I have learned to work through things that I am not good at until my goals are accomplished. The tradition I would like the underclass to uphold is adopt a family. I think it's very important to branch out and help our community. With an organization as large as us, the outcome and the feeling you get from it is amazing. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Sloan and I play the trumpet, wind ensemble, and French horn and symphonic band. My most memorable musical moment was my freshman year in the marching band field. Our show was based off the military, a tribute to those who serve and have served. We were in the midst of our battle scene when a few young players began playing. Seeing the look on the crowd's face, knowing they are feeling what had been played, was an amazing memorable moment. A non-musical skill I have learned in band is to take initiative. Throughout the years in band, as a marching Viking, a student leader, and part of concert band, I have learned that I need to get stuff done on my own time, and if it can't get done during the time allotted, waiting until the next day was the worst mistake I ever made, and I never did it again. The tradition I would like to see a film underclassmen is to adopt a family. As one of the leaders in charge this year, I got to experience firsthand hand how much it means. It was awesome to see such a large group of young adults come together and make us such an impact and see someone's lives. Hello, my name is Bree Trumbull and I play the alto saxophone. My most memorable musical moment while being in marching band would most definitely have to be October 30th, 2010 band competition at Halifax High School. While holding a note and pausing for marching, a white flag was passed through the formation in memory of Nick Brower. I'd always get goosebumps because I knew he was watching over us during this moment. A non-musical skill that I've learned in band that I can use for the rest of my life would most definitely have to be to strive to succeed. Being in band has taught me that no matter what, we always have to try our best and never give in to mediocrity. A tradition that I'd like for the underclassmen to uphold would be the silence upon arrival. This is because whenever we arrive at the school, we have to get in mindset to performing our best to our ability. Hello, my name is Malcolm Murray, and I play percussion. My most, my most memorable musical moment has to have been marching in a band made up at least five different schools. Each band did their kings, and they sounded great. But when we started playing, you could hear the oohs and the ahs, and the woes coming from the wood grass behind us. Especially when we would spin our sticks, that's when Tanisha and I would look at each other and mouth the words, we bad. And our musical skill I have learned and can use in everyday life is being prepared. Make sure you have everything you need, some things you may need, and check to see if others have what they need. A tradition I want the underclassmen to carry on is superior rating <clears throat> at festival because I know how it feels to be close and lose it by one point. I also know what it feels like to win. Winning feels good. I think once they get that feeling of being a winner, they, they will become motivated to continue and wish the same on their underclasses. I once heard a man with two first names say, if you ain't first, you're last, and nobody wants to be last. So find your motivation, get a firm grip on the collar of his shirt, and drag it with you wherever you go. Hello, my name is Joanne Hopkins, and I play the clarinet. Um, my most memorable musical moment was the Rose Competition in my freshman year of marching band. I remember the anticipation of theirs, and of course the rain. I also remember that despite the fact we only won one award, we were so proud of what we've done and what Call of Duty represented. A non-musical skill I will take with me through life is patience and commitment. I learned that having the patience to practice something until you succeed and having the commitment to stick with it no matter how hard it is. 
The tradition I would like the underclassmen to uphold is senior piece. It allows us to reflect on our years in band and the accomplishments we've had. It also allows us to show where we were before and how we got to the level we are now. Hello, my name is Crystal Johnson and I play the tenor saxophone in Wind Ensemble and Marching Band. My most memorable musical moment is for my freshman year marching band season. We were performing our full show, props and all, for the first time in front of a crowd at a football game. I'll never forget how not a single person left to stand during our performance or the thunderous applause we received. That moment really made me understand how special an opportunity it is to be able to perform in front of crowds and how our performances can have a special meaning to our community. A non-musical skill that I've learned from being in the band here at White Oak would definitely be how to communicate well with others. I'm a pretty shy person and before band I had a hard time communicating my thoughts to others. When you join band, especially marching band, you lose that shyness quickly. Band has allowed me to be more confident in myself, which enables me to more readily vocalize my thoughts and feelings to others in a clear and direct way. One tradition I would like the underclassmen to uphold is moment of silence before performance. It's an important tool we use to get everyone on the same page before performance and allows the students to collect their thoughts and get focused before going out to perform. When a performer is more focused, the performance is better, and when the performance is better, we get to leave the performance feeling like you performed the piece as well as it could possibly be performed, rather than leaving feeling like you could have done something more. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2012.
Yeah.